Today, I couldn't open a bad bottle for you, so I opened the 2007 Mastaplano uh, Priorat. So this must be the entire allocation for the Western United States, this one bottle. This Thank one you. bottle. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Tough to beat that. I just can't imagine opening a bottle for less than four people because it just wouldn't be any fun. I mean, to sit there and open something great like this, like Pleno, and drink it by yourself, what, what a waste that would be. Um, but to sit around with your friends and, and sip it and talk about it and, you know, enjoy the day, I think that's what the gist of what wine was about. I happened to be over there visiting Andre Noble, who was a winemaker at, at Romani Conti, in fall, after, uh, after the 83 reviews had come out. And the 83 Vintages was really poo-pooed by the critics. Oh, too cold, too rainy, too hot, too discardy. Poo-poo. He was a little upset. <laughs> There's about 12 of us who are major Romani Conti customer suppliers doing this tour. It's cold. and. We're tasting wines from the barrel, you know, in 83s, and it's, you know, there's some pretty decent wines in there. So we're getting ready to go, and we're just like, you, you, and you, the rest of you go away. You, down in the cellar. We go down in the cellar, and there was only one chair down there. That was when he sat in. You had to stand. He pulls out this old bottle of Moranche, no label. We're drinking them, it's beautiful. And he goes, so, Monsieur Le Maître Sommelier, do you know what this wine is? I said, I, it's probably an older Moranche. I said, I, Knowing your white wines, I say probably something from the late 50s, early 60s. And I could see that I got a little too close. So I figured out for about the third wine that the worse my decisions were, the more wines he was going to open. We sat down there, freezing cold. We drank 19 different vintages, all off vintages of Romani Conti and Richebourg and Latache and Moranche. It was one of the greatest days of my life. <laughs> it, it pays to be dumb on Sundays. And that one paid in spades. Mm -hmm.